all to another premium spirits review, folks. We have got one for the ages. 21, in fact. Well done. Well Thank done. You. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the elated King of Extreme, joined by my indomitable broadcast partner in inebriation, the one, the only. Tony fucking G. Like, share, subscribe. I am over the moon for this today. We dive in to the Glenn Fittich 21 year age statement scotch. Oh. oh. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, man. So, Tony, I, uh, would you read the marvels that is 21 years? This is the highest age statement Tony and I have had, Scott. It is. Uh, our families are perfectionists. At 21 years old, our whiskey is remarkable, patiently raised in our distillery in Scotland. It is an exquisite, traditional space-side whiskey, rich and rare, with our Glenfiddich signature notes. But rather than bottle it, our family gave Brian Kinsman, our malt master, the freedom to add a sublime finishing touch, the Reserva rum cask finish. Ugh. He finishes the single malt in Reserva barrels that previously held our own unique Caribbean rum, an exclusive recipe from several tropical islands. This Caribbean rum finish awakens our Scottish whiskey, rousing it with extra exotic notes of ginger, fig, lime, and vibrant, spicy toffee warmth elevating it from something great to something extraordinary. Uh, when we first did the Glenfiddich line, the 12, pretty decent for a 12. It's what you expect out of a 12. The 15 blew me away. The 18 is an immaculate scotch. And I've heard nothing but incredible things about this particular note. So I'm, I'm stoked. Did I miss anything? No, no. Oh. That's incredible. That's amazing. Oh, my goodness. That's. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, you get a lot of the, the fruitiness you would get from a rum, mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, my God. That's a just a golden flavor on the nose, if I if yeah, dare say right. that. Like peaches yeah, you're right. It's like peaches and, like, pineapple. I don't smell any of the toffee or the dessert sweetness that you would expect with this, but I like kind of a, a lot of buttery texture. Yeah, a lot of but, buttery fruitness. Oh uh, well, Tony. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no. Mm -hmm. Oh. I guess we can cap it because that's the best scotch I've ever had. Um, that's pretty good. I, I, I'm a little flabbergasted. There that's, is some, that's insane. There's some warm cinnamon on the back. Yeah, the only finish there on the back is just a, a tingly, cinnamon. sweet cinnamon. Yeah. Wow. The, there's wow. not nearly as much fruit on the palate. No. It's very warm, inviting, cinnamony like freshly baked bread um kind of has that kind of warm texture i'm getting the pear flavor on, yeah. the, on the first taste but yeah oily buttery it's very oh sweet and fruity goodness. at the beginning it's very it's a this is a dessert scotch through and through yeah this is one mm. to be uh savored and enjoyed my goodness mm. wow so Tony. Wow. That's all right. Let's that's see good. how this uh oh wow. Wow. Um first of all, <clears throat> I'm lost for words, folks. We're I'm sorry. Adding an extra grade here. And this oh. one's not official. This one's just between you and me. You know how we normally grade these sketches, yep. but as a lover of the space size, okay. We're gonna add an extra grade here. Okay. So we're gonna have our regular four grades, which is single malt scotch. Scotch, brown spirits, and shelving. Sure. But for this one, on the front side, we're going to add an extra one. As a space side, how do you grade this one against all the space sides you've had in this life, okay. sir? Okay. On a scale of one to five stars, 
Uh, one to five stars. That is a five star. A five star space side. Yeah. I no, there's no other way around it. Um, there's no other way around it. I'm sorry. That's a five star. Five star space side. Yeah. So of all the space sides you've ever had, that's the best one. That is the best one. I. Yep. Yeah, I um, can't walk around it. No, that's the best one. I hate to say, like, as a space side, I hate to do it, Tony. You know how I hate to do it. I, I don't. You know how I hate. I, it. I do. I'm gonna have to break the oh, scale here. He's doing it. As a space side on a five star scale, five point two five. Oh my God! Yes, yes, it is that good in terms of space side Scotch yeah. whiskey. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I can say no greater praise than that. I broke the scale. Everything about this is a five star. So yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay, as a single malt scotch. As a single malt scotch, uh, I'm going to give it a 4.75. 4.75, and why is that? Because obviously there is much, much, much more expensive and higher dollar age statements and installations but for what you're getting here for the age statement you're getting for the brand that you're getting this is just absolutely wonderful uh we we know there's grander entries on the glen finish line that we'll probably never even get to sample some of them but man if this was the last one i'm, I'm glad I, I could i could easily go five but i'm leaving just a touch of wiggle room I'm going to leave much less wiggle room than you. As a single malt scotch, I'm giving this 4.9. There you go. That, like, it's, mm. it's near space side perfection. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just delicious, this is, this marvelous. Is the nose is just. Yeah. And I, I got to get it up to my camera. This is. Look at this it's stuff. beautiful golden. Absolutely beautiful, Golden. Uh, that, that's the thing. Let's, let's touch on the uh, obvious, the next one, being as a scotch. And you mentioned something there just a second ago about the coloring. The color, beautiful. The nose, inviting. The palette, incredible. Luscious. The finish, yes, amazing. So this kind of touches on all the senses just perfectly for scotch. So yeah, even the texture yeah. is inviting. Like yes. it's just a feast for all the senses. Sight, like even even this one. Wow. Yep. Yes, it's it's inviting yep. and delightful to all the senses. So as a scotch, against every scotch you've had on the island, and we have had a few. Yep. One, maybe even two. In fact, a few more. Check out my other videos. Five. That's fair. That's fair. Five stars yep. as a scotch. Now this there, one, the other scotches would aspire to be this good and fall very, very far flat. Now keep Not in even mind, close to this. I was graded higher than you in space side and single malt. Yes. But as scotch, I am going to rate this. Four seven five. Okay. This is an excellent, excellent scotch, but there's you know other scotches that are comparable that sure. are in the peer group of this. Okay. I'm not going to say like oh it blows his way, but no, this is one of those scotches you aspire to, and we ha happen to find this on one hell of a discount deal. We stumbled on it, and that's the only reason it's sitting in front of you right now. Um, Oh my God. Um, yeah, it just gets better. Yeah, this uh, is one you could literally let just sit all night and just. I didn't want to say it before because of the obvious, but I smell orange now. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, well, it's just kind of a, like a citrus. Like, yeah, a tangy even citrus. Just like yeah. the squeezing of a lemon or yep. a lime or an orange. Wow. Yeah, this is amazing. <clears throat> um, so, 475 of Scotch. Now, it's a brand spirit, sir. Uh, I'm usually hard on this. Um, to thine own self be true. Under no circumstance should anybody ever even consider cocktailing this. Not that you couldn't, but if you oh, had, 
if you sleep on a pile of cash, then I, I guess if you must, just out of sheer curiosity. The, uh, the metaphor that I put for this is it would be like putting a Lamborghini engine into like an old beat up, like rusted out car. Yeah. Or like, like the go-kart you and your dad tried to build when you were like 10. Yeah. You put a Lamborghini engine on that. Yeah. You can do it. Wow. You shouldn't. <laughs> like, so, yeah, don't mix this with Coca-Cola. Or no. Because this is amazing meat on its own. I don't even know. Like, it, it would be good on the rocks. I don't know I that I would it. want to dilute this in any way, shape, or form. It's just that good meat. I... <sighs> As a, and, Curiosity know, normally, may get the better of me, but I, I don't think you want to compromise this in any way. No, no. And like normally I try to talk about whiskeys as a cooking ingredient because the, that's also an interesting avenue to extract the flavors. I wouldn't even do that with this no. because it's just so good. It needs to be appreciated on the palate the way it's presented. Yeah. Now, God, if you were to prepare a bird with this, it would be amazing. Like, could you imagine just taking one ounce of this and just continually rebasting it over a bird yep. of any kind? It would be amazing. But yep. don't do it unless, you, do it you, unless you got the scratch to cover that. But yeah. I, uh, man, brown spirit. Remember, I've given other brown, yeah, you know, I've, I've given that five on other. You can be, to thine own self, be true to you. 4.75. 4.75 is a brown spirit. Yep. And that's just because you wouldn't cocktail it. Yep. Yep. It's not diverse because I would only want to drink this neat. The flavor and everything about it is diverse. What you would do with it, just drink it neat. Because that's what it deserves. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be a little more generous than you, but not by too much. And I'm going to give it 4.8. Just a little more. All right. It's just, All right. Uh, you, you, I know it's almost kind of like, really, why? But it, it just deserves just, this is a whiskey that you deserve to break whatever scales and preconceived notions Fair. of measurement you had. This Fair. is that good. And so, well, Tony, the question is, is this really going to be sitting on your top shelf? Or is this going to like be sitting in a drawer that you keep hidden from other folks? Uh, yeah, if it's don't... not on the top shelf, it's on top of the shelf itself because that's how good this is. Um, but it's, I would agree. Yeah, it's going to be sitting on my top shelf yeah. or the top if it's my bottle. And yeah, I. <sighs> anybody that puts it anywhere else is just getting themselves. This is the Well, there's another pinnacle. place you could put it, and that's just, Down there, you know, yeah. just in the whiskey vault. So, you know. When, Don't even tell people you have it. Yeah, yeah. When there's there's your, your good inner circle of friends and then there's like you know the mooches that'll come over once in a while and you know that that's when you you hide yeah that's it's that good but that that's an amazing amazing so yeah it's top shelf needless to say yes. um so best space side you've ever had yeah one of the best single malts oh, yeah. you've ever had yeah um uh, amazing brown spirits it's, you, it's like, incredible even though it's just yeah you just enjoy it neat Mm. One little snort more of that, because holy crap. Mm. Top shelf, but we knew that going into this. So. Yeah, totally expected. Mm. Mm. Just a maybe. So I said, keep that on your tongue just a little while. Keep it on your tongue for 21 seconds. One second for every mm. year it was aged, and see if new flavors are extracted. Mm. It's already down, isn't it? Most of it. Uh, just pour some more. Mm. Oh my god. All right, Tony. It's just too good. It's too I good. did this with rose one time and it taught me so much about extracting flavors. Now this whiskey was aged 21 years. Brian Kinsman worked 21 years of his amazing, like mad scientist master distillery to bring you this. So leave this on your palate for 21 seconds okay. and tell me if you get any more flavors. So yes, the master distiller over at Glenfiddich, Brian Kinsman, we have to thank you for bringing this to us, this amazing, amazing product. And yes, Tony is uh, doing a little experiment for me. He's like, just, just leave it there for just a little longer than normal and see what, see what you get. Because it's just like the principle of chewing your food more extracts more flavors from the food. 
So leaving it there is going to get you more flavors. Mm. So what did you? Oh my gosh! What did you get from that tea? You definitely get the toffee and the coffee flavors on the back. Mm. You get a lot more of that cinnamony tingle. That's just everything about it is sweet. Oh, just marvelous! Everything about that's good. Uh, there was a fruit I was having a hard time pinpointing there, but pear maybe. Mm. Yeah, I, I was getting some slight notes yeah. of pear, but if you leave it there, you're going to get it. So yeah. now you see what I mean about really leave it there and oh, enjoy yeah. it. And so that's kind of what I say. At least leave it on your tongue for one second for every year it's been aged. That's, to me, that's treating the whiskey with respect. A master distiller and master coopers wow. had to really work together in harmony to bring you this kind of amazing product because yeah. again like the master Incredible. distiller he has to work with some great coopers to bring this to you yeah. so and, and even the cooping the making of the cask is really an art into itself i've been looking into that so it's a this is an amazing like to think that single malt barley can be turned into something like this like just yeah it's, it's barley an water and cask maturation yeah, pretty amazing, really. So this is... This is a home run by all, all accounts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony, before we uh, cap this one off, is there any other notes about this that you would like to let the people at home know about this? Like just A-plus whiskey. God, I'm almost getting up like a berry on the nose now. Maybe a little I'm more. getting more of the toffee yeah. and the chocolate. And maybe, yeah, a lot of chocolatey on the back. All right. Now, I'm going to go for 21 mm, seconds. I'm, you you, uh, you stretch for time for me. This yeah, is, maybe this is a, my joy time. Maybe a brown sugar almost in taste because oh, just everything about it, it goes back and forth between fruit and desserts and uh, just nothing but pleasant, pleasant tastes and smells. Like, there's nothing here that wouldn't appeal to most people. I mean, if you don't like sweet scotch, I understand, but you're missing out because this is this is an absolutely marvelous scotch mm. oh wow yeah the chocolate mm -hmm. the toffee the coffee yep all it comes out on the back yep the sweet is still there yep oh my mouth never goes watering. away like it's very rare that you you know i gotta find some good whiskey to actually take in my mouth waters okay yep this one oh. does it and there's that warm, so flavor. warm like cinnamon bread. Yeah. Because it there's like this warm like it's not like you're having bread, but it's just kind of got that warm like you just had fresh baked bread from the oven in your mouth. Yeah. So there's just a warm, a cinnamony, man, just cacophony of flavors. None that you would think you would get out of a rum cask. So this is unique. It's in a unique way of doing mm. it, and they they hit a home run with it. Outstanding. A plus, uh, Brian Kinsman. Everybody at the Glenfiddich Distillery, all y'all, take a bow. Like, this is, yes, amazing, amazing effort, folks. If you can get your hands on this bottle for basically anywhere under 220 bucks, we found it on one hell of a sale. So that's why, it's the only reason you're looking at it. Um, other than that, jeez, Tony? No, that's all bloody. that being said oh my god i am your elated king of extreme signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partner in inebriation tony g thanks for jumping in with this one